find the values of a and b that satisfies this equation a squared minus b squared equals 15. Now, pause this video and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given that a and b are in the set of natural numbers, meaning positive integers, that satisfies a squared minus b squared equals 15, then the goal is to find a and b. Alright, so to answer this question, of course, on the left-hand side, we have a squared minus b squared. It follows that we can use the difference of 2 squared. If we have x squared minus y squared, we can factor this out as x minus y multiplied by x plus y. So the left-hand side of our equation is simply equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b equals 15. Now at this point, since a and b are both positive integers, we are now required to get the factors, positive factors of 15. And there are few. We have 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. So technically speaking, we only have two cases in this question. So the first one is a minus b multiplied by a plus b equals 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. So we have case 1 and case number 2. But which one is equivalent to a minus b and a plus b? Now take note, since a and b are both natural numbers, it follows that a minus b must be less than to a plus b. So this is a and subtract b and added b, therefore a plus b is greater than a minus b. Alright, so it follows that a minus b, this is 1, and a plus b, this is 15, the larger number. On the other case, a minus b is 3, the smaller number, and a plus b is 5, the larger number. So now, let's solve for the values of a and b. On the first case, if we add a minus b equals 1 and a plus b equals 15, we cancel out negative and positive b, so we have 2a equals 16. Divide both sides by 2, we have a equals 8. So we found the value of a, which is 8. Now, how about b? Let's use the first equation. So a minus b equals 1. Let's replace this a with 8. Now subtract 8 on both sides. We have negative b equals negative 7. Multiply by negative 1 on both sides. So b equals 7. Now let's check. 8 minus 7 is 1. Let's check. 8 plus 7 is 15. Let's check. All right. Now how about the second case? If we add these two equations, again, we eliminate positive and negative b. So we have 2a equals 8. Divide 2 on both sides, so a equals 4. Now, to solve for the value of b, let's get the first equation. Let's replace this a with 4. Subtract 4 on both sides. Divide by negative 1 on both sides. We have b equals 1. Again, let's check. 4 minus 1 is 3. And 4 plus 1 is 5. Therefore, case 1 and case 2, case 1, we have a equals 8, b equals 7. In case 2, we have a equals 4 and b equals 1. And there you have it. Therefore, in the equation a squared minus b squared equals 15, wherein a and b are both natural numbers, then we have two pairs of a and b. So a equals 8, b equals 7, or a equals 4, b equals 1. Now, of course, let's check if these two values definitely satisfies the given equation. Now, as you can see, the left-hand side and the right-hand side balance. They are both equal to 15. Therefore, given that a and b are natural numbers that satisfies this equation a squared minus b squared equals 15, then we found two possible pairs of a and b. The first one is a equals 8 and b equals 7. Or a equals 4 and b equals 1. And as always, we are done.